Welcome back. Yani, we left it hapa. This was the temple right here because a revival and catch up all the way from Nigeria made it happen with their new banger track made away. And they are here, Yani. We are so excited to have them. They'll be talking to us and of course, Yani, I don't even know. I'm just happy. <laughs> Because these are two amazing dance hall kings getting together. And when two amazing people get together, good things, great things happen. Okay? <laughs> Revival. Yeah. Let me start with you so that you introduce to us. <laughs> Mugeni Wako, okay? Yeah. So, so. I know. Oh, it was in Mugeni Apa, like, you know. <laughs> sure, sure. So I'm just giving you a chance to introduce. Yeah, yes. Wago and Mambo VP, this is Revival. I represent Christ to the fullest. No bad energy, full of positivity. Only that, no bad energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, straight up introducing my brother all the way from <laughs> West Africa. Ketchup. Pondi chips. <laughs> <laughs> Pondi chips. <laughs> Ketchup. Blessings, Kindly blessings. introduce yourself and welcome to the show. Which one is my camera? Which one? That, that, that one right there. Yes. Yo, what's happening? It's the original catch up on the chips. Afro dance house sensation out of Africa. Big blessings, big blessings, East Africa. You know how the thing go. Yo, big up the DJ every time, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, welcome to the show. We're Thank happy you. to have you here. It's good to be here every time I come here, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every time you come here? Yeah, I've been but here not a couple here. of times. Not this particular show. Yes, not this, this building. Show. <laughs> this building, but not this particular show. Yeah, not man. with these people. Yeah, man. Right? <laughs> anyway, how, how do you feel? Ah, you feel I feel good. I feel amazing. Mm -hmm. I had a great night. Woke up this morning. Energy is right, you know? Yeah. Just vibes. <laughs> All right. So let's just get straight in the, into the song. And yeah. tell us why you decided to work with Ketchup. I mean, with Revival. It wasn't actually a decision. It was just the chemistry was right when we met. And, yeah. you know, he makes gospel music. And mm -hmm. I've always wanted to do gospel music, mm -hmm. kind of. And, you know, it was just a good platform for, you know, me as an artist doing gospel music with, you know, my fellow brother right here. Yeah. And, you know, it, it actually felt, you know, amazing, even from when we got in the studio. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just 30 minutes, one hour, bang, bang, finish oh, the wow. song. And it was just That's straight. simple. <laughs> yeah, sure. But it took a longer period to mix and master, uh -huh. get things in place uh -huh. with publishing and all that. But mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. it was real fast recording the song, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it was real fast. Revival. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Why did you decide um, Catch Up and Anna Fat and Bokwa this track with you? Okay, well, one, two, uh, mm -hmm. one uh, I'm a gospel artist. Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand. Boom, boom, boom. But Sasa Tukiangalia, on the artistic point of view, I yeah. felt. He has that thing which I need to be on that track, uh, yeah. as in the artistry part of it. Then another thing, uh, I looked at, uh, at it this way, because uh, he has influence. Mm -hmm. And uh, if he says there is a God in heaven, yeah. <laughs> so many people who even don't believe in God because of his influence mm -hmm. will turn they to will God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the bigger picture as to why I chose him because mm -hmm. style yangu na yake, it's Zina quite similar. Zina yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, Ketchup, you talked about wanting to do gospel music. Yeah. I think there's maybe one or two songs from your Colombiana EP I, that has a touch of gospel yeah, music. Yeah, like a deeper message to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's um, true. Tell us a bit about that. And is that a direction you're planning to take? Uh, Actually, um, thinking of it from my point of view, I'm more of a spiritual person. You know, I just believe there's a higher power, yeah. regardless of what you believe in, Christian, Muslim, or, you know, whatever. I just believe that this actual talent that God has given us shouldn't be wasted on, oh, baby, shake your waist, shake your waist all the time. You know? <laughs> we should also try to pass positive message because we're not going to be here for the rest of our lives, you know. Mm. Uh, it's always good to realize that when you're gone, you still have music that people in different generations will listen to and be like, oh, this guy was saying the truth, though. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's basically it. I'm not trying to be a gospel artist. It's the gospel guy. <laughs> Me, I like... <laughs> <laughs> you like pom pom. Hey, you understand? Yeah, so, so that you're not going the direct. The no, no, no. Direction. Right. They are the kings but you of feel gospel. That Let them people do that. need um, to need know the truth. Yeah, yeah, they need to always have positive message and intellectual property with mm -hmm. the music. You mm -hmm. know, when we put it out. Yeah. Yeah. Revival. Yeah, sure. Um, story. Um, you being a gospel artist and mm. revival yeah. being a secular artist, is there anyone who has come to you like you hey, revival? Mm. Why mm -hmm. are you doing music with a secular artist? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. As in, uh, 
vitu kai zwa ziko sangi. Yeah. Nime receive backlash that is. Mm -hmm. But unajua people will always talk due to lack of revelation. Mm -hmm. uh, let, me, let me speak from the ministry point of view. Uh, in the Bible we have Pharaoh, yeah. you get. And uh, the dream that Pharaoh had, we had Joseph. Mm -hmm. Joseph was in prison, mm -hmm. an interpreter of dream. Mm -hmm. He's gifted to interpret dreams. But he's in prison because he doesn't have that influence. Akuna, there is no one who can understand his gift. Now, this is what God did. Because that particular time, the person who had influence and could command Joseph to get out of the prison was Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. So God did send a dream to Pharaoh the one of seven fat cows and seven thin cows yeah. and uh, everyone couldn't interpret that dream mm -hmm. so the only person who could interpret that dream was joseph, joseph. Yeah. so god used pharaoh mm -hmm. to release joseph mm -hmm. from the dungeon mm -hmm. i can't say that i'm i'm still on the way i'm growing because as far as i'm concerned he's a world star he yeah. has the platform yes. i'm still growing uh -huh. i'm still growing i can say i'm that joseph who, mm -hmm. who is the interpreter of dreams mm -hmm. wow. but and you're pharaoh so <laughs> i need someone i needed someone that could get me out of that prison yeah you get mm -hmm. so i met him mm -hmm. and we did the song mm -hmm. and uh, right now the message is widespread yeah. even in the platforms that i never thought mm -hmm. i could reach but because of him you the have. song right now is big in jamaica yeah you get? Okay, so that's, that's a plus nice. to me yeah yeah so whoever mwenye anafikiria i did a song with a secular artist huh? understand this revelation is progressive and uh, even in the book of nehemiah when mm -hmm. they were building the temple, the cash that used to build that temple was raised from a brothel. So before you Preach. throw stones, <laughs> <laughs> before you throw that stone, yeah. you need to, mm -hmm. to gather the facts. Mm -hmm. That is, yes, yeah, true. sure. Yeah. Okay, um, re um, catch up. Yeah. Are you planning to do any other song with Revival and any other Kenyan artist? Uh, Revival should be working on his EP, hopefully by end of year or next year. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll be doing some writing, you know, together, working Please on some do. records. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be doing some writing together. Mm -hmm. um, as far as other artists, me, I'm... I'm open to vibration, you know. Mm -hmm. if, if the feeling is Even right, you do the job. you that um, when you came to Kenya that you know, okay. <laughs> Other than revival, I know I... I met I Brown, am. though. I met Brown. Ah. By uh -huh, but I met uh -huh. him. Yeah, we're doing some writing, too. Okay. We're going to do some... That guy stole my track. Some... Uh, <laughs> 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 we'll do some uh, music <laughs> together, you know. Uh -huh. And yeah, hopefully, and you know, any other artist that is you know ready to work and you mm -hmm. know put in positive energy in the yeah. music, I'm open You're to good. working with as many people as possible. Okay, we're waiting yeah. to see Especially that. Especially female artists. Then. Oh, okay, okay, the okay. <laughs> 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 They're listening. Yeah, Papa. man. So that's basically it. Yeah. Okay. Um, revival. Yeah, Malibia, sure. Kindly yeah. um, tell us um, a bit about the EP in very few words, so that. <coughs> well, the. It's yeah. so powerful. We need it again. Okay, mm -hmm. well, the, the EP w should be coming out in the course of November, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. And the first song from the EP is Made Away, that yeah. I've made with Ketchup. Okay. That's the first song in the EP. So we are still, I'm still working on the compilation, but God willing, mm -hmm. I'll be releasing it in the end of November. All right. It should be ready. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sure. And you're welcome to come do the premieres here. Yes, like you have done today. Yeah, sure. And um, kindly share your social media handles and then... Well, my social media handles, YouTube is Revival Kenya. Instagram is Revival KE. Facebook Revival KE. Twitter Revival 254. Let's link up. Let's vibe. Let's mm -hmm. spread positivity. Yeah, man. Catch up social media handles. Oh. Uh, my social media handles are uh, Ketchup O N Y I D O. That's on all platforms. That's K E T C H U P O N Y I D O. Instagram, Twitter, Snap. Don't follow me on Snapchat. That's my private life. Um, <laughs> uh, I think uh, my website, www.ketchuptown.com. Go to Ketchup Vivo, subscribe, and follow all the Afro dance hall hits from day one. I'm back in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, next week we'll be, I'll be opening, I'll be doing the opening for a spa. You guys should come Ooh. through, get some facials, you know. Mm -hmm. Your friend, beauty points it'll be opening next week and also at the end of the month you know how we do now kitchen yeah. nets we'll be doing our live band and chill nice. as we usually do mm -hmm. you can check my instagram you see uh the last edition was way
It was mad. Uh -huh. <laughs> so big up all the gal, then big up everybody that came out for the first edition. This month's edition will be at the end of the month. Follow me on Instagram, K E T C H U P O N Y I D O for more updates. Big up Kitchenette, big up Ifran Beauty Point, and you know, big up everybody for showing positive energy to the music. Okay. Thank yeah. you so much for coming <laughs> too, guys. We appreciate your yeah, time man. so so much. So right about now, let's just listen to this. Fire song once again, Danny. <laughs> we dance. Wait, wait.